Hello, welcome to today's Optics Trade Debates. My name is Tildor. My name is Andras. And today we are going to talk about uh, Leica Visus Rifescopes. This is a, a little bit less common or less known series of Leica Rifescopes. And we will go through all the, I would say, unique features, uh, basic uh, specification and so on, the model range and everything associated with Leica Visus. So Andras, where should we start? Yeah, before moving on to the characteristics of these rifoscopes, I think that we should share with our viewers a little bit about the history behind the Visus name. Well, behind the name, the name is new as far as I know. Uh, however, the, the rifoscopes are, I would say, an evolution from the previous Leica rifoscopes. So the, the Leica, scopes, uh, Leica rifoscopes uh, ER, uh, the same two models, were uh, produced before. Uh, Visus has three modes, one to four by 24, so a wide angle, then a stocking mode of 2.5 to 10 by 42, and an all rounder and more, I would say, a low light model, three to 12 by 50. So <clears throat> they evolved from the ER series to the Visus series <clears throat> with some additions like the glossy the glossy exterior uh, and a little bit different caps and what is the main difference the visus is illuminated while the ER wasn't so this is this was the big chain, uh, change I would say the big game changer they add the illumination to these rifoscopes and then named, named them visus now that we finished talking about the history let's move on to the I don't know unique characteristics of as far as the outer appearance is concerned I can already see that they are available in glossy version. Yeah, this is something that I think no other producer of rifoscopes in Europe is currently producing. Uh, in 2016, when it came out, uh, Carles also had one model, 1.6 to 8 by 42, which was in this glossy finish. And then they produced that rifoscope only for one year, and now only Visus is uh, in this uh, form or in this style. And this is something what really works well on, I would say, more premium rifles from European producers. So if you have a bespoke handmade rifle, let's say from Ferlach, Barole, uh, called in our region, or, or something similar, a Visus in glossy um, finish is, a, I would say, a unique addition to such rifles. So yeah. this is yeah. something what nobody else produces. So it's a, Probably also uh, for rifles that do not uh, go so much on the field but are somewhere in the, I don't know, at home. Yeah, when, when you buy a shelf. rifle which is bespoke, uh, handmade, made for, for, for you as a customer, uh, then you go with something like this. And this is, this is not a rifle and a scope you will take out uh, into the bushes and into the yeah. elements and so on because it's more about the looks and the, uh, about the elegance. And this is, if you see the whole shape of Visus as such, yeah, they're it's really very elegant, elegant, yeah. elegant uh, scopes. While they also change compared to all other scopes, there is no red yeah. logo from Leica, but it's only written Leica on them. And I think that this really adds to the elegance, doesn't yeah. it? So, um, and this is their old, uh, I would say, old looking logo. So it's, it's really like, if you have a bespoke handmade rifle, this is probably the the perfect choice with a lot of engravings and so on. This really works nice together. Are Visus riboscopes available with a rail underneath? Yeah, I think so. I, awesome. Yeah, what I also think is that the, the glossy models only come without a rail. Yeah, if I'm correct. if I'm not mistaken, I would have to check the web the website for that. But I think mm -hmm. that the glossy versions can only be ordered just with the, the tube without the size yeah. rail underneath. And the mate can be, I think, with a with the size rail. More or less, these are basic scopes, 4x zoom, nice optical characteristics, nice contrast, uh, normal turrets. I think there is some plan, or they are already doing also with the BDC turrets, uh, Visos. I don't know, I know there was a lot of talk about it, I don't know if they came out with this or not. Uh, I also think it's not that important, because you buy a Visos for the styling. You buy it because it's slick, because it's nice, because it's well made. And optics is also very decent. Uh, if you compare them normally to Magnus, the field of view is much smaller, the 
Tunnel effect when you look through it's when you compare to Magnus, which it's like uh, the image is all around you. You can notice a little bit that uh, this is a one tier lower scope than the Magnus. But when it comes to styling, I don't see anything what could come close. So Magnus is all about the optics, and yeah. the Bezos is all about style. Yeah, all about style. But they are light, they are slim, they are compact, they are reliable. Uh, well made, the warranty is 10 years, uh, they are made in Portugal in the completely new factory from uh, Leica. Uh, so you get a Leica quality and they are offered at a quite an, I would say, affordable price range. They are they're affordable and you are still buying a premium product. So the warranty is 10 years? Yeah, but I think the, ser the servicing will be done longer. So even if you ran in into a problem after uh, when the warranty expires, uh, Leica will still service it, I'm almost sure, because they are uh, repeatable, reputable old uh, European company. So this is quite common that they provide service also for their old products. What I really like about Visus as well is that they, Leica has paid attention to details such as marking the, yeah. the lowest magnification with a red and the highest magnification with red and then in between it's marked with yellow. Yeah, so yellow. all these small details small that details. add to the style and the elegance at the end. Uh, what it is true is that uh, illumination has nine different uh, intensity levels. It goes all the way from, uh, from low light levels to daytime bright. This is something that is also nice. And I like the illumination a lot because it's, uh, it's hidden in the center of the, of the reticle. The, the dot is really fine, it's precise, it's small. Uh, I only think that the only small drawback of these scopes is the field of view. The field of view should be a little bit bigger, but on the other side, they compensate that with, uh, with the looks and uh, how slim and elegant they are. Yeah, so uh, basically we're lacking one model here. So yeah, the wide angle, angle is yeah. not here. Uh, apart from this, um, I think that we covered the optical and the mm -hmm. general specifications. Uh, I do have to say that they, they are in the market which is probably the hardest to compete. They are in the range between 1000 and 1500 euros, somewhere in between, a little bit up and a little bit low, it depends on the model and the configuration. And in this price range there are so many competitors that it's really, really hard to compete. And I think it's, it was a smart move for Leica, they said, okay, we will not compete with all the features, with all the everything with uh, six times zoom, with, with everything what everybody else is doing, we will compete with the styling which nobody else is doing. Because there are so many competitors like Doctor, now Noblex, um, Kales, uh, uh, Zeiss, the new Conquest V6, all the Japanese like Delta Optical, uh, Gix and DD Optics, uh, Kite Optics. They're all in this range from, let's say, 800 euros to 1,500 euros. And they all compete with who will have a bigger zoom ratio. They all compete with who will have, I don't know, which additional features and so on. And like I said, okay, we will do something else. We will do a rifle scope, which is a perfect choice if you have a premium, elegant rifle with a lot of engravings, with a lot of handwork uh, on it. We offer rifle scope for those customers. We offer the rifle scope for those who are searching for beauty. And this is this was a smart move, I would say, even though uh, because they step out of the crowd. Everybody else is competing with zoom, with, with features and so on. They're competing with the beauty. And I like this move. We will see how the market will react. We will see if the market cherish the beauty or not. But I still think that uh, it's nice to have a producer which thinks outside of the box and it's not completely the same like everybody else. Thank you very much. I think we covered the ba basically so. everything. Yeah. Uh, like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave, uh, leave a comment if you forgot something and you want to know, want to have some additional information. You can also send us an email. Uh, thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye. See you next time. Bye.